Hey everyone, today I want to make the case that you should be using OBS to record your video lectures. Now, you might be asking, why? Why should I use OBS? Maybe you're using something else, Screencast-O-Matic or Logitech has systems that'll allow you to record your lecture, your, 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 what, what's this, your camera and your screen and so on and so forth. Well, let's talk about why OBS can be so powerful for you. But before we do, what is OBS anyway? Well, OBS, as it says here, is a free and open source software for video recording and live streaming, okay? Um, I think OBS stands for Open Broadcast Software. Okay, whatever. Now, you might be thinking, well, I've heard of OBS. Isn't that the thing that kids these days are using to stream their video games. You know, you can go on to Twitch and watch people play video games and so forth. That's OBS, right? Well, yes. Yes, that is OBS. However, it can be used for a lot more than just streaming. It can be an extremely powerful tool for us when we're doing our video lectures. In fact, right now, as I what you're watching, I'm recording with OBS. So what are the benefits of using OBS? All right, well, first of all, you can really leverage your existing materials. If you already have PowerPoint presentations or, or graphics or materials, or even video that you put up on the screen, but you want to record over it and speak with your students, such as I am right now, it's really nice, okay? I can repurpose all my materials all day long. And in the case of PowerPoint, well, now you can take advantage of, of animation. You can take advantage of your highlighter and you can say, hey, I'm gonna highlight this as you're talking with folks. You can take advantage of the laser pointer and say, yeah, right here. So all those tools are available to you even though you're recording through OBS. OBS. That was awful, I know. But you get my point, right? Okay. Um, and finally, OBS, it can be used as a Zoom camera. So, yeah, okay, Zoom is normally just you, the person with some sort of funky background, right? But you can actually zoom through OBS and share materials that way and share animations, things like that, okay? So with that, what I want to do today is show you how easy it is to download and set up OBS. Now, you might be saying, well, now, why do you need to include the caveat how easy it is? Well, because OBS is one of those systems that it's really easy to set up, but it can actually get pretty complicated and in fact, kind of intimidating to use its full functionality. But folks, we don't need its full functionality. We just need some basics. So let's go ahead and download OBS. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to OBS. OBS Studio right there, click here, and I am going to download it for Windows. Okay, fantastic. So we go ahead and hit Windows, and it is now downloading the executable file. Okay, it is now all ready to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And it says, welcome. We're gonna go ahead and hit Next here. And then yes, we agree to the licensing agreement. So we hit next once again. And then it says, hey, we're gonna go ahead and put the, uh, the application, whatever the program in program files. That's great. You can change that if you want. And we go ahead and hit install. Okay, it is now all set. So yes, we wanna go ahead and launch. So we hit finish. And lo and behold, here's OBS. Now, I'm gonna minimize this to get it out of the way. Okay, so it then starts us with an auto configuration wizard. And it says, hey, do you wanna use this for streaming or recording? And we want to use it for recording. 
So I'm going to hit Optimize for recording, and then I'll hit Next. And then it says, OK, what kind of resolution do you want? I like my current resolution of 1920 by 1080. And it says, hey, what about frames per second? Well, it says, hey, well, use either 60 or 30, but I prefer 60. You know what? I've never used 60. 30 frames per second is just fine. Less load on my computer, less chance of missing frames, dropping frames, as we say. So I'm going to hit 30, and then I go ahead and hit Next. And it says, hey, this is the setup we're going to use. Are you good with that? And I go, absolutely. So apply final settings. OK, I have now officially completely downloaded OBS. But now we want to set it up so we can actually use it. So how am I going to do that? Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to come here to settings. So I go ahead and hit that. General, we're going to leave that alone for now. Streaming, we're not streaming. We don't care. Leave it alone. Output, we do care about output because we are going to create output files, video files. So we come here, and the first thing we do is we go to output mode, simple. We want to go to advanced. And then we want to click on this tab here for recording. Now, what do we do here? First, make sure you know where your video recording, where your video file will be after you hit stop recording. Because, oh my gosh, trying to find that thing? Now, in this case, it's going to send it to my videos folder, which makes all the sense in the world. So I'm going to leave that alone. The next thing I want to do is I want to set the recording format from MKV to MP4. Now, it gives me a warning message saying, hey, you know what? If your system crashes, it won't save the file. Whatever. You know what? Life happens. I just find that MP4 is a lot easier to work with when I'm editing the, the, the file and integrating it with other recordings and so forth. So I put it over to MP4. And that's all we need to do here. Now, you might be saying, well, what about video? Well, that was already set up with the, um, with the configuration wizard. So we really don't need to worry about any of this. So we come here and we hit Apply and then OK. And now we are all set. We can now start adding sources. Now, sources are basically, well, sources of input. That can mean the camera. It can mean audio. It can mean a monitor. I'll show you what I mean. We're going to right click here. And, or you could hit that little plus sign, but I'm going to right click. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to set up a video capture device. That's fancy speak for a camera. OK, so I hit a camera and um, I'm going to go ahead and call this my webcam. Webcam, there we go. And it says, OK, well, what webcam, what actual device, what actual camera are you trying to set up? I'm going to set up my Logitech HD Pro Webcam C920 right there. And lo and behold, there I am. Now, watch this. I go ahead and hit OK, and I'm teeny tiny. There I am right there. Hi. Um, I'm teeny tiny, and uh, I'm the wrong shape and all that sort of stuff. So what do I need to do? Well, first thing I need to do is I need to come here to the webcam and I need to hit the properties. Now, we could have done this before when I was setting it up, but I wanted to show you what will happen if you just hit OK, right? So we're going to come here to resolution and hit custom, all right? And then it said, well, then I disappear because it doesn't know what resolution it wants. So what resolution do I want? I'm going to hit that down arrow right there. And I want 1920 by 1080. And I hit OK. Et voila. There I am right there. And I'm filling the screen, and it's fantastic. OK. Now, incidentally, you notice this little Mikey thing is going because, well, somehow or another, the system recognized I have a, a mic, some sort of external mic. But we actually need to add a mic. OK, so what I can do here is I can go to Add, and I can go to Audio Input Capture. 
a mic. Okay, that's fine. Well, what do I want? I want the webcam, webcam mic. I want the webcam mic. I hit OK. And it says, well, which mic do you want? I want the mic that goes with my webcam. So I hit OK. And there it is. Now that bad boy is bouncing all around. That's actually the mic I want. OK. Fantastic. But now, remember, we want to set this up for lectures. And I made the case that one of the benefits of using OBS is that you can use, say, like a PowerPoint presentation. OK, so how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to make me smaller. Oh, there I am. I'm right there. But then what are we going to do here? We want to add a monitor to that. We want to have a video capture device that's actually a monitor. All right, what do we do? We come here to Sources. I'm going to right click, Add, and go to Display Capture. All right, it's capturing a display, which is a monitor. All right, I go ahead and hit that. I'm going to say this is, you know, you know, second monitor. OK, second monitor, there we go. Hit OK, and it says, well, what monitor are we talking about? Well, not this one. We are talking about this one right here. And I hit OK. When I hold it, I'm gone. What's, what's the deal? Well, we take this monitor, and it's like stacks. It's like levels. Now, there I am. All right, so I've got this, but let's open up a PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to open up a PowerPoint presentation, get that all ready, and uh, slideshow. And bam, there I am, right? Here I am. Welcome back. That wasn't so hard, was it? So notice that just with a few minutes and a few clicks and couple of settings set up for us there. We are now ready to give a presentation. So I can go ahead and, you know, I can move back and forth. Remember, this is the very same setup that we used when we were getting set in the first place. Not too shabby. Now, you notice, yeah, the video isn't quite as good as it was at the beginning. We can fix that. The audio isn't quite as good as it was at the beginning. We can fix that. So I will produce additional videos that kind of show you how to fine tune OBS and to really make it sing for you. But otherwise, don't be intimidated by this program. With just a few minutes, you're up and running and you can go ahead and hit Start Record. And I am now recording this presentation. And I am now recording this presentation. And then you can hit Stop Record. And you're no longer recording. So there you are. Take a few moments, download it, set it up, and start recording. And until we talk again, have a fantastic day.